I'm always getting the shredded chicken burrito, one shredded chicken burrito and one spicy potato soft. If I get anything more than three items, I'm completely destroyed. I pretty much have a lifetime supply, but it's, a, it's really incredible and I get to just pass them out to all my friends. Yes, huge MySpace guy. Like my first music project, Westwood and Willow, was full MySpace. Found a lot of great music through MySpace. Uh, one of my favorite bands, Daphne Loves Derby. They're from here in Boston, or their singer just moved to Boston. I drunkenly DM'd him asking him to come to my show tonight. He didn't respond. So I said, I said, come get emo with me. I'm getting so emo to your EP right now. Um, he's not, they don't do music anymore. He's like a dad, but I think they were on MySpace records. So very deep in the game. RTT was all about my uh, motto with that band was no melody, all lyrics. Some, Joni Mitchell has some quote about her album, one of her albums where she says that she was all about just crazy lyrics and not so much about melody. So I guess my first band, Westwood and Willow, which was just me for the most part, was all kind of the same thing that I'm doing now. And I was kind of tired of being super solemn and whatnot. So with RTT, we're just like, let's rock. When I was like 17, because I was super obsessed with like the scene aesthetic, Daphne Loves Derby, I don't know, Atreyu, all that MySpace stuff. And then I just took all my dad's CDs, which he had like the whole Bob Dylan discography, all the Joni Mitchell albums. And so then I just became fully obsessed with like old folk music and that really changed my worldview. Started wearing Ray-Bans all the time, indoor, outdoor, you know what I mean? It is. I just sort of like adopted it for myself early on because it because my music is like traditional chordings and stuff, but like lyrics that are about EBT and like sushi. So freak folk is more like psychedelic or something. Like Devendra Banhart is like freak folk. So I don't I don't really know if it's the perfect genre for me, but it is real. Jeff and I spent a lot of time listening to Coast to Coast. Uh, radio when we were on tour last, so I'm very curious about li other life forms at this point in time. I think it's possible. I don't know if I want it to happen to me. I think there's aliens out there. I'm not sure if they're actively abducting or not. There's one theory that aliens actually invented humans by mixing their DNA with whatever it is that we're closest to, and then they realized that we were all like crazy, and so then they left. I think that's a possibility. Uh, I miss having a bedroom. I've been crashing between my friend's house and my girlfriend's house for almost two years, so I miss having a door to close. But I also miss just being able to walk everywhere and um, having hella jackets to choose from. I like SF a lot. A snail is a dollar, or just money in general. I would need to be abducted by snailians so I could pay the band. I, need, I would like to do a band called Field Medic and the Big Medicine, where we would tour and be hella like Americana. No, actually not hella Americana, but just like, you know, we got bass, drums. I'd be able to play banjo. Someone else could play 12 string or whatever, like acoustic. Um, I would need like 500 snailians per show because I want to be able to pay the brez. Thrift Store Cowboy. Dude, I would just buy hell of food. I don't really, I can't even buy new clothes. For whatever reason, if I buy anything new, it doesn't fit, or if it's like a gear, it breaks. I can only buy stuff that's been used before. I think it's similar to like, to like the spirit of songwriting, like something comes in and like makes things happen and then it leaves and you're confused as to where it came from. I think I need, I can only wear clothes that have been worn by someone else and then I think they're spirit comes into me and like we we connect and then once that time has passed then I you know pass the clothes on or I stop wearing them and they recharge so as far as swag goes I might buy like some nice shoes I think shoes I can buy new but I would just buy food for all my friends I met the neighborhood because their drummer used to live at my house in San Francisco in the next couple years I just started going to hang out with uh, my friend Brandon in LA and sort of met the guys and then, you know, the rest is history. 
Oh yeah, it's fully platinum. It's crazy to step out and play for like 1,500 to 2,000 people. You know, at that, at that kind of show, the beer doesn't run out. And if it does, it gets refreshed, so. That's a good question. So right now, I'm just getting back to where I feel happy. I used to have, a, my mullet used to be like this long, and it wasn't tailored at all. It was just like, a, like long hair. People would drive by and be like, Joe Dirt, you know, scream it at me. I think this is an ideal length. I would like it to get maybe a little bit longer so it's not so wavy. To me, it makes me feel like a cobra, you know, to have that, the hooded feature. So I, I encourage everybody to give it a try. Even a tiny tail, even like a minnow tail. I think people, there's this, there's this stigma surrounding it. People are afraid. Mm -hmm.